Okay, so in today's video, we're going to go ahead and draw out our sides for our lidded box. So I'm going to want to start off with a rectangle that is three and a quarter, 3.25 by two and a half. So let's get started. So I go ahead and I draw this out. 3.25 enter 3.25 enter and then go up and let's close that in so it closes and exited exits out of our line tool so next we're going to do a couple offsets just to um, draw out some of our other lines so go ahead grab the offset tool O enter enter again I'm going to click on this top line I'm going to drag that down 0.25 enter I'm going to bring both of my sides in a half inch so 0 0.5 0 0.5 enter and my bottom up 0.5 enter so this is just where I'm going to start and go ahead and press escape to get out of that. So now I just wanna draw a couple lines. I wanna go down and make sure that my polar snap, I have my 45 turned on, so 45, 90, 135. All right, we checked that off already for our um, front and back. So I'm gonna grab my line tool, L enter, snap to the top of that line I offset and draw 45 degree line right to the intersecting point and left click escape to get out of that line tool all right l enter again i'm going to draw another 45 here all right left click escape again l enter and my last line will draw right here Again, make sure I'm snapping, left click, and escape out of my line tool. So now that I've got these set, uh, I wanna go ahead and um, delete a couple lines and then do a little bit of trimming. So I can start by just selecting these two lines and deleting them, because I don't need them. So now I can go to my trim, so TR, enter, I'm going to trim these two here, trim off that line, one, two, and three. So now you can start to see our side is starting to come together. So exit out to exit out of my trim tool. Now I'm going to go back to my offset tool, right, so O, enter. Enter again. I'm going to offset this by a quarter of an inch. So 0.25. Enter. And this side. 0.25. Enter. So now that I've got that set, I want to go ahead and uh, escape out. Actually, I do not need this one. All right, so now I wanna go ahead and draw out my uh, fingers or my little tabs. So my first one's gonna be a half an inch down. So I'm just gonna do it this way, offset, oh, enter, enter again. I'm gonna offset this line by a half inch, 0.5. This one by a quarter of an inch, 0.25. And again, 0.25. Point two five, and one last time, point two five. So now that I have those those uh, offset, I can then go ahead and do a little bit of trimming. So escape, TR for trim, enter. And I want to trim off these. First, I can trim all these off. I don't need any of those. 
right, I trim off my openings here, top, bottom, and then these two all get trimmed off. Press escape. Now I do still have this line on top, so I'm just gonna click on that and delete that line from the top. So now if you remember, we did the mirror tool. So I'm actually just gonna select all of these and mirror them to the other side. So mirror is MI, enter. Now I wanna use the blue selection field for this. So I'm just selecting these fingers. Right click, select the midpoint on my bottom, drag that up and you can see it flips them right over to the back. Click, click no, and then I just need to come back with my trim tool, TR, and trim off these couple lines here. All right, escape out of my trim tool. I do still have a couple little lines that are just sitting on top here, so I can go ahead and delete them as well. So I should only have one line here. So if I delete it, I can control Z to put that back. So now I've got the overall shape set. So the last thing I wanna do is I need to go ahead and add in my circle, all right? So you can kind of see where this circle opening is. It has a radius of 0.15 and it's down uh, 3 eighths of an inch from this top edge and over 3 eighths of an inch from this bottom edge. So we're gonna draw the circle and then move that. So I wanna go up here, grab my circle tool all right, center radius. So this is gonna be based on the radius, which is exactly what I want. I wanna click on this endpoint in the corner. I can drag that out and I type in 0.15, enter. So there is my circle. So now I wanna move that. So M, enter, grab my circle, all right, right click. I wanna grab that from the center, and I'm gonna move that down and type in 0.375, enter. Okay, so now I've moved it down 3 eighths of an inch. Now I just need to move it over 3 eighths of an inch. So I'll do the same thing, M, enter. All right, select, right click, grab it, slide it over, make sure my polar axis is lit up in green. 0.375, enter, and there is my circle. So now the last thing I need to do is add in the fingers on the bottom, and this is actually gonna be quite simple. So if you remember, I already did the fingers on my front and back. They're the same for the sides. So all I'm gonna do is use my copy tool, CO, enter, so you can see I have my side over here. I'm gonna grab my side pieces, all right? I'm going to uh, right click, grab it on that end point, bring that over, snap to my end point here, click on that, escape. And then all I need to do is delete that line and my side is all set. And that is all I need for my side. So that's it. Um, happy drawings.